as the precursors of T cells are developing in the bone marrow. They shuffle the components of the genes for their T cell receptors. They do this at random to create millions of different types of T cell receptors. But are all of these effective? Will they interact with MHC proteins as they must? Might they react negatively against self? Since they were generated at random, the possibility that they will not react appropriately needs to be taken care of. These T cell precursors will express two proteins, both the CD4 receptors, which are typical of the T helper lymphocytes, and the CD8 receptors, which are typical of the cytotoxic T lymphocytes. Therefore, they are referred to as double positive T lymphocytes, possessing the molecules needed to co-stimulate the uh, receptor as it interacts with one of the two classes of MHC proteins. T lymphocytes travel to the thymus where they interact with a number of different cell types which they encounter there, including epithelial cells, dendritic cells, and macrophages, which can help the T cells mature by allowing them to interact with MHC compounds and the peptides that they have bound. Since T lymphocytes need to interact with MHC complex uh, proteins in order to function, uh, this is both the MHC1 uh, complex that the CD8 cytotoxic T lymphocytes interact with in order to kill cells uh, which perhaps are infected by virus, and the MHC2 complex uh, proteins on the antigen-presenting cells that the T helper cells interact with. In the thymus, those T lymphocytes which interact with MHC compounds are given a survival signal to proceed further in their development, while those which do not interact with MHC complex proteins uh, will uh, fail. They will not be given this survival signal and they will die. After their survival, DP thymocytes move to the border between the cortex and the medulla of the thymus or into the medulla where they are selected for their ability to bind better with MHC1 proteins as would befit cytotoxic uh, T lymphocytes or MHC2 proteins as would befit T helper cells and thus they are stimulated to specialize to produce only the CD4 or CD8 uh, receptors in positive selection. T lymphocytes also undergo negative selection in that any T lymphocyte which will react with self, which would recognize self as foreign and attempt to destroy it, would then be triggered to undergo programmed cell death or apoptosis using the multiple genetic mechanisms for apoptosis and by releasing toxic molecules from mitochondria. This results in tolerance. If this does not work effectively, then this could cause an autoimmune disease uh, later in life. For example, if the MHC proteins, which should be training the T lymphocytes to recognize self, do not do so uh, effectively, perhaps because they do not bind self peptides effectively, then the T lymphocytes in the thymus might never learn to recognize self and this is the reason that certain alleles of MHC2 complex proteins predispose one to type 1 diabetes.